the VP4 format is at the heart of the Premier Plus embroidery system. The format is the container for all the embroidery design information, such as colours and stitches. Over 20 years ago, our first system used the HUS format. This contained the basic XY coordinates, plus the colour of each stitch, limited to a palette of 29. For its time, it was great, but that was 1994. The top sewing machines only had an LCD display, and the flip phone was all the rage. In 2001, we introduced VIP, with real thread colours. In the 3D system, we introduced VP3, with speciality thread colours. And now, in the Premier Plus embroidery system, we are introducing VP4, which gives us much, much more. As you know, we have great fonts in our 6D system. We can resize or reshape them, but only when we make them. Once saved, we lose this ability. Premier Plus works with the VP4 format, which saves all the information on the font or fonts used. Let's open this fish design. The design has been made as a group. So to edit the individual text, select Restrict Groups. I can now select any lettering and carry on re-editing. When I have finished my editing, I can then save the design to work on it again. Or, if I'm finished, use the export function to finalise the design for the embroidery machine. Like the lettering, when designs are resized or rescaled, we retain the original design information. This is a project I was working on last week. As you can see, there are two hummingbirds, the smaller one being made from the larger one. If I select the design and have a look at its properties, you can see that the size is set at 50% and the angle of rotation at 11 degrees. Why is this good? Well, apart from being easily able to get back to the original design shape and orientation, it means that if you rotate or enlarge the design again, all the calculations are done on the original design and not the change design. Let me show you. If I duplicate the original hummingbird, use color sort to fix the design, that is to make it as if it was working as it would do in our previous systems, rotate it a bit more, color sort to simulate saving and opening it on our older system, repeat this a number of times. Now, if I position the two birds next to each other and zoom in, you can see that the stitching on the eye and the beak has changed for the worse. Do the same thing in Premiere Plus and there will be no change. So now there is no need to worry about saving, reopening and adjusting your designs, degrading the stitch quality. Designs and fonts supplied with the Premiere Plus embroidery system already have applique fabric added. Applique fabric can be chosen from the quick appliques or 2400 system fabrics. Alternatively, you can bring in your own fabric by just taking a picture of it. Stored with the image of the applique fabric in the VP4 file is the applique outline. These can be instantly exported and used on automated cutters. When stitching a design, made for applique, it is common to include a stop. The stop could be to mark where the applique is to be placed on the fabric, or to enable you to cut the fabric out before the border stitching. Premier Plus Embroidery System allows you to add information to these stops. So when we use the design player to simulate the stitching of the embroidery machine, when it gets to where the stop is, the player pauses and displays a message. There are standard texts, or you can add your own, all of which will be stored in the VP4 file along with the applique fabric and the applique outline. Last week I was working on a monogram. 
made in the Express Monogram Wizard. If I reload it, I now think that it's too small for this garment. The choice of applique could also be better. To re-edit it, I just select it, on the context menu select properties, and then the Express Monogram Wizard opens with the monogram. Now I can make the changes. Click Finish and the original monogram is replaced. All possible of course, because the monogram settings are held in the VP4 file and can be recalled at any time. Premiere Plus enables you to make groups within your project. At the moment, each one of these fishes is a separate design. That's OK, but means that if I want to do some more editing, I risk having to realign the other designs. So if I select this family of butterfly fishes, I can then make a group of them, so that if I want to move one, the others will follow. This does not mean that designs are permanently linked together. I can temporarily ungroup if, for instance, I decided to have two parents and a child rather than two children. And then work back as a group. All of this information is then stored in the VP4 file for the next time. Embroidery designs can be enhanced by adding beads, sequins, hotfix crystals and rhinestones. Premiere Plus allows you to choose from over 1500 different types of decorations. This design comes alive as you add the decorations. The variety of decorations is practically endless, as you can choose from any colour, style or size. In Life View, we can really see it shine. As well as placing individual decorations, there are also special decoration designs and borders which can be added. These are all stored in the VP4 file and placement stitches created for when you stitch out the embroidery. When planning a project, it's always nice to be able to see it in the actual hoop you intend to sew it in. The hoop in the Premier Plus embroidery system is however more than a visual guide. It warns you instantly if part of a design is not in the working area, with the corners changing from square to round. In this example, using a multi-part hoop, it's even more valuable. Although we can split the design that is placed in both areas, it will be better not to split. The overlap area is shown all we need to do is to move the designs around to avoid splitting. The hoop type and orientation is saved along with the design in the VP4 format, ready to use the next time. Being able to plan your project on the item you are going to actually embroider on really helps. We have in the past been able to show the project on the background temporarily but now the background becomes a permanent part. It is of course possible to reposition the background or to fade it, all of which is stored in the VP4 file for the next time. Here's my shopping bag project saved in VP4 format from last week. Looking at it now, I can see that I've used the super design dinosaurs. As I wanted them quite large, they are now looking rather plain. As the stitch type information is retained in the VP4 file, I can still change the fill area pattern. The other thing I notice is that the dinosaur has over 14,000 stitches, far too many for just a bag design. As this type of material is very flat, and I don't mind if the embroidery is a bit more open, I can go back to the stitch types and change the density of each individual stitch type used. And if I repeat this for all the areas, I can bring the stitch count down to just over 8,000 stitches. 
and in live view I can see the design still looks good. So again using VP4 has enabled me to carry on adjusting the design without any restrictions. Embroidery designs can be made using special techniques such as twin needle which can have different gap settings adding puffy foam to raise the embroidery or even felting where no thread is actually sewn. The Premier Plus embroidery system shows all these effects on the design view plus adds an indicator to the colour worksheet. A hidden benefit however is seen when creating felting designs especially lettering. Felting designs are stitched in reverse that is to say from the back to the front so the Premier embroidery system shows you the designs the correct way and then when you export the design it gets reversed. This means you can use the special felting fonts included to work as you would normally do all because the VP4 format can recognize the stitch effects being used. Let's not forget the other important features that we have inherited from VP3 such as working with real thread tables, seeing specialized threads such as metallic and variegated threads and adding notes along with the design. So as you can see Premiere Plus software and VP4 at its heart make a great team.